So here's the question. Are you a stuck walkout or a confused walk-in? Okay. The reason I'm asking, and a way you can tell, is going to be covered in this video. Okay. Now here's the thing. Let's just cover what a walk-in is. It's the being that's walking into a body after, you know, it's a, the body's been around for a while. And the original occupant, sometimes known as the crawl-in, is going to walk out. Okay. So, walk out, walk in. All right. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because if you are a stuck walkout and you don't know it, or you are a confused walk-in and you don't know it, you can really suffer some terrible emotional stuff. And if you spot it, or you have a feeling that you're either though supposed to be walking out or walking in, and it's a jumble in here, there's about 14 symptoms that this is happening to you. Okay. All right. And I'm, there's a link down below w that will share all of the 14 symptoms. But here's the thing. The big thing is you're going to feel like you want out of here. You're going to be thinking dark thoughts. If you don't know that you're a stuck walkout, the thing is, you're supposed to walk out. It's, a, hey, show's over. It's time for me to go. And you want out and you can't find the door or somebody's hanging on to you or a dog's got you by the ankle and you're, and you're let me out of here. But you can start feeling desperate about not wanting to be here, have no purpose for being here, you know, all your friends, all the family, nothing there for you. Mm, any passion or purpose or mission in life, zip, zero. And you want to just like, whatever it takes, baby, I really want out of here. Right? So these dark thoughts, and then you're going to be conflicted. <laughs> to finish the sentence, these dark thoughts are going to be overwhelming you. And you might think it's something else. And it might be something else. But it would be really good for you to check in and weigh in on this phenomena of walk in, walk out. Because what's happening is as a walk out, your time on earth is over. The agreements were made, the plans were set in place, and now it's time for you to go. Yeah, man. And it's like, oftentimes it's like, I am so glad. And people are learning, they're wanting to learn how to get out of body. Uh, they're doing everything they can to get out. Uh, but in desperate mm, straits, they uh, start looking at, you know, these other dark thoughts and they feel so bad and so wrong and so guilty and, you know, about feeling that way. But it's because you're supposed to be out of here. All right. So it gets so if this is you, you are the stuck walkout. OK, now. There's the walk in. When the walk in walks in, the way it's supposed to work is uh, agreements were made. OK, it doesn't matter what time of your life, what you know, what year of your life you're in or anything or even circumstances. There's this agreement and the plans in play, right? So the first you, the you that is the stuck walkout, let's say you're the original occupant of the body. And it's supposed to be over. The new walk-in will start walking in. In other words, he will touch bases, so to speak. And he's going to, when it goes right, if you're not stuck, 
there's a passing of the hat. The, the walk in will be taking over the life. Okay. Now there's the personality and character that stays here with the body when the walk out leaves. So you as a walk, you know, you originally come into the body. There's your personality and character and it blends with the personality and character that is developed over years while living in the body, right? So you get it, you become a certain way because of your life experiences. But that isn't necessarily the you, the spiritual you that came into the body. It's a blending. So the spiritual you that crawls into the body, original occupant, makes yourself at home. Now you live either a good life or a bad life or a really weird life. And your personality starts developing. Your environment, your parents, school experiences, trauma, any and all kinds of strange things can be happening in your growing up years. And this develops your character and personality. But it's not the soul, spiritual you, who also has a true nature and spiritual kind of being and a personality and a character. Okay. So here you are. And life goes really sideways and down, and let's say it gets really rough, and you, and you turn into a real bitch, or you turn into a real freaking dick, and you know you're fighting it because the spiritual you is going, no, 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 that's not me. I want to be loving, but programming and life, and it's like for survival reasons, you gotta be mean or rude, or it just gets crazy in here. So, this you, it's, it's time for you to walk out. And the new guy, as he comes in, if it goes right, he will take on all the personality, the character, the, the, the baggage, the emotional baggage, the mental baggage of the walkout. Because you, the spiritual you, you don't want that junk either. You're done with this life and all the weird programming that comes with survival issues, uh, love, money, health, uh, career, and relationships, and all of this stuff. The mm, Too many failures, too many losses, not enough wins, not enough success. All that mental and emotional stuff. One, it will trigger the mind that you also take on when you come into this world. Now, the spiritual you doesn't have the mind that you have once you walk into a physical world experience. There's a part of the mind of consciousness, a part of the mind of humanity that we all share in common. And this common mind, the collective mind, collective thoughts, of all the human beings on earth are co-creating this dreamscape, this matrix, this belief system territory we call reality or real. Okay, But this mind, you don't come in with this crazy mind. No, but you take it on when you take on a body. Okay, So now, not only do you have a body, and all the experiences that are gathered and put into the mind as memories, and traumas, and successes, and agreements, and beliefs, and everything. Not only that, but you've also got the collective mind of humanity. And see, this happens because in fact, you're very powerful or very conscious, expanded, able, spiritual being. And you're choosing to play this game and then like sort of downgrade or drop into the matrix or the reality. And you choose to play the game with all these different rules of how to play and, 
what you can remember and not remember, what you can do and not do, your psychic abilities or your lack of them. All this comes into play. You know, so you're in pretty good shape. You walk in, you play this game. Oh boy. And you're really not even in the time stream. Mm. As regards past, present, and future, you're above that as well. Okay, so anyway, you come down and you locate yourself on a time stream, on a time track. And these time tracks can be manipulated. And there's time wars going on here. And, uh, the Mandela effect, that's a thing. And so once you get into this game, uh, you can be the effect of the play the opponents in the game, the obstacles, just like any game you get, there's going to be opponents, there's going to be allies, there's going to be obstacles, and there's the terrain and the territory and the boundaries and the limitations and the level up, uh, all this stuff. We're experiencing that. So as a walkout, you were supposed to, if you're the stuck walkout, you were supposed to leave and leave it all behind and new guy walk in will take over everything and the walk in will be have a different plan or they're going to pick up where you left off it's like this is a rough world here and the first you may have come in for a reason but you're just here to set things up for the next guy or gal okay and now you got everything set up now it's time for you to go okay new guy comes in if it, if it all goes well, new guy comes in, new gal comes in, and go, okay, I got this. And you leave, just like an out of body experience, you leave, you're gone. Okay. You're free. All right. New guy. If it all goes well, the new, the new walk-in will know or understand quickly that they are a new self. The new rich the new sarah the new james the new charlie the new linda or brinda or rachel okay it'll be the new you but you'll soon understand that and you'll pick up the life and you'll realize oh this is not my baggage this this mental emotional stuff is not me and it's not mine Right. This is if it goes really well, right? And you go, oh, okay, I get it. And so there's a period of time when the walk in is coming in, and before the walk out leaves, there's this sorting and shuffling and sifting and getting it together place. And so new guy gets settled in, and then old, guy, old previous occupant passes the hat. Okay, and this can take a few days to a few months, depends on the person and the circumstances. So during the, when it goes well, during the turnover stage, you will still experience the feeling of, I want out of here, while at the same time, one day you're on, one day you're off. You're very engaged and interested, and the next day you're not interested in anything. Uh, you will be experiencing uh, memory loss as the new you is coming in, taking over. Now, uh, the reason for this mm, memory loss and all this stuff uh, and this weird in-between as the transition takes, uh, takes place, it has to do with the consciousness that you are is blending with the other consciousness. So if you're the walkout, and this is if it goes well, okay? We haven't even talked about what happens if shit goes sideways, okay? But if it goes well, you still, one day you're feeling like you're your old self, and the next day you might be feeling like you're your, the new self, because the consciousness is blended. It's, it's a mind fuck, but that's how it works. So as the separation occurs, it's like it's like a, a you, know, you think of 
uh, blood cells under a microscope. You see them, it's like one. And it's the, uh, the personality and character. Uh, um, when the walkout actually gets walked out, you know, it's just, they come in together like, and they get like this, and then they have to separate. As the new guy or the new gal comes in and takes over all the, all the stuff. All right. So, okay, so now walk out, leaves. What a relief. New you mm, sorts it out, has a new fresh perspective, has purpose, mission, something they're going to do, reason for being here, that sort of thing. Okay, this is in a very, very good, smooth transition. Okay, so that's that part. Now, in part two, I'm going to talk about when it really goes sideways or what normally happens. It normally goes sideways. Okay, I'm just saying. Okay, this is planet Earth after all. So <clears throat> stay tuned for part two. Uh, when the walk in and the walk out are having problems sorting it out, and you, the walk out, uh, you find yourself stuck and can't get out. All right. So we're going to talk about that next. All right. Okay, I'll talk to you in a little bit.